Okay, so today I want to do a quick little uh, comparison here of the SIG P250 and the SIG P320. The P320 is their new striker fired gun. Now SIG says this was a new gun. We didn't just base this on the 250. We designed this from the ground up. At least that's what they told me at SHOT Show. I think once we take a look inside these guns, you'll see that that is a blatant lie. But, uh, you know, it's still a good gun, but it is very similar to the P250. I think it'd be hard to say it was started from the ground up. But let's take a look inside them and uh, let you decide for yourself. Let's start off with the frames here first. As far as I can tell, these are pretty much identical. Uh, I don't really see much difference. This one does have more beaver tail on it, but it is also a different size frame. Uh, but otherwise, they're pretty much exact. Now, I have put the firing control units from both guns into both frames. Fits the same and functions in both frames. Uh, and from everything I read and everything I hear, these are identical. You can interchange the frames. When they designed the 320 off the 250, they did not change the frames at all. And speaking of being able to fit the firing control units in both, let's take a look at the firing control units. Okay, here are the two firing control units, and the chassis are identical. There's only a few small differences on these, but otherwise, they're pretty much the same. As you can see there at the back of the frame, the firing mechanisms are different. This one has a hammer. This one has a mechanism to activate the striker. That's pretty much the only difference between these two, that little segment right there. It does appear they have redesigned the little thingamahoos that's here, the little trigger bar uh, on the 320, because this is the 320 and it's a newer design. Looks a little different than the 250, but still very similar. But on the striker gun, there's an additional bar on the other side. Uh, that's about the only difference. There's also a little slot right there that allows that mechanism to move back and forth. But other than that, chassis are the same, triggers are the same. The only thing different is the little firing mechanism that actually activates the striker on the 320 here and that extra little bar there that goes along with that mechanism. But otherwise, these are very similar. It's very easy to look at these and say, yep, they just built the 320 off the 250. It's very obvious. As you can see here, the biggest difference between the two guns is the slide. This one just has a firing pin here because it's a hammer-fired gun, so it doesn't need a lot in the slide. This one is different. It's got this little striker-fired mechanism here. So that's the main difference between these two guns, this little segment right here in the slide. So what you end up with is two guns that are very similar, but completely different. This is a double action only hammer fired gun. This is a striker fired gun. And it's a very good striker fired gun. It's got a great trigger. So this little mechanism makes all the difference. So there you have it. In the end, you have two very similar guns. Now they do have one big difference, that firing mechanism, but both very good guns in their own right. If you want a double action only hammer fired gun, the SIG P250 is awesome, especially at some of the prices you're able to pick them up for now. If you're looking for something in a striker fired gun, the P320 is awesome. It's got a great trigger, one of the best triggers on the market. Maybe not the best one, but one of the best ones. One last thing I want to show you here before I wrap it up is the sights. On the new P320, the sights are more the standard SIG night sights. They're just the channel sights. Uh, on the P250, they're those little uh, weird sitting in over the hammer, holding in parts of the gun sights. So that's a good change, I think, going back to a better, uh, more traditional style sight here that's easier to change out. So that's one big difference between the two guns. So like I said, the end, two very similar guns that are very different in a very important way. So if you want double action hammer fired gun, get the P250, especially at the prices they're blowing them out for now. And if you want a polymer striker fired gun, one of the best triggers I've ever felt on a striker fired gun, get the SIG P320. So both good choices, but in the end, like I say, I think it's a little hard to say that the P320 was started from the ground up. It's obviously a redesign of the P250, but it's still a good gun.